Hi, my name is Matt Savage with Robert Bosch Power Tools. Uh, here we have the Detect 200C. This is a, uh, a wall and floor scanner and also concrete scanner that can go up to eight inches deep. The great thing about this is it's handheld. It uses our 12 volt battery system and it gives you not only the reading of what is beneath the surface, whether it's a metal, a non-metal, uh, a live wire, it can also um, detect water and moisture and leakage. Um, but it also tells you exactly how deep it is. So the Detect 200C features a couple different modes. You can also change your wall type and the object. You can also do leakage detection for moisture and water content. And then you can also do just distance measurement. You can turn that on and off. You can also change the view. So this view can change from just object view where it shows the metal, the non-metals, live wire and all that stuff to a different signal view. So for instance, if you're trying to find gaps, let's say there's a large conduit and you're trying to find the gaps in a concrete, you can use that. You can also scroll down to uh, signal view. And signal view just basically shows it in a wavelength form. It's very similar. And then a spot view. This spot view is gonna tell you where that object is and kind of direct you towards where that, that image is. In addition to changing the settings for the view, you can also change the depth mode. So if you're drilling into concrete, we have a mode for that. And what that does is it tells you how far to drill and how far not to drill. Going up against rebar or post-tension cable, this view is often used. As you start scanning, it will actually measure the distance between your scanned objects. As it passes over the object, it's gonna tell you exactly how deep it is. So for example, this one is 0.6 inches deep and it's showing that it's gonna be a metal. Uh, you sweep over it one more time and then you can also capture the image. So you can take a picture of it to document and then later um, access what, what you actually scan. Now on other surfaces, as you scan along, uh, it'll tell you exactly where it is. This icon on the bottom shows that it's a ferrous metal. You can kind of see the magnet there. It'll also show unknowns, for example, like post-tension cable that is uh, insulated with um, wax or um, some type of plastic. It'll also show live wires as active. This will be bright red. Uh, and then non-ferrous objects, this will just have the magnet with an X through it. As I said before, you can scroll through different features and functions, but the best one is to go to different categories. So we have a concrete, we have drywall, we have um, panel heating, uh, we also have vertical uh, coring or brick, and then horizontal coring or brick, and then early age concrete. This is important for those pores that are less than 72 hours um, and curing. Um, and then block and brick universal if you're trying to find objects beneath that, and then concrete. You can also change the depth if needed, if you want to. Uh, I keep it at eight inches deep because I like to know how deep the objects are beneath the surface.